Hi, today I'm going to look at how to disable system apps. I was recently asked by a customer if it was possible to disable the system apps that are built into uh, the Android operating system, for example, Google Chrome would be a good example. You know, when you get the phone, that's there already. So what you're looking at here on the screen is um, my Google Nexus phone. And as you can see, there is uh, the, the Chrome app there. So the device is enrolled into Workspace ONE as a fully managed device. So what I'm going to do now is just take you into the console. So there's a number of steps you have to take. So first off, just for simplicity, I've created a smart group called Google Nexus. So if I go in there, you can see that any phone running Android 8.1, which is the OS that's being run, uh, will appear in that smart group. So in my case, it's just the one device. The next step is to come into apps and into an app group. So in here, I've created uh, a policy here that's going to block the app. So you can see that just the information I really need is an app name and the app ID. <clears throat> this can be gathered from the console or the Play Store. And then really just the assignment. So what I'm saying here is I want to, it's again, just a description. I'm going to disable the system app. Um, and I'm not worried about the OS, the model, or the device ownership. You know, you could go in here and say model, Android, OS, whatever version, but in here I'm, I'm going to apply this as blanket to all devices. Because I'm going to apply it to a smart group, it's only going to apply to that one device, so I don't need to worry. So the next step then is to come into my devices and profiles and create a profile to actually uh, apply that restriction. So we'll go add profile and it's Android, and let's just say table system app. Okay, and this stuff's optional, I don't worry about description or anything. And in here, I'm just going to start typing Google Nexus for my smart group, and there it is. And I want that to be auto, so that will apply. So I'm now going to go into my application control and enable that payload. And again, I've got work managed, but I'm going to leave profile. I'm just going to take the defaults. So I'm going to disable access. So I'm going to save and publish that now. You can see the device it's going to be pushed to. Okay. So if I now flick back to the mirror, you can see there that that icon is now greyed out. So that system's been disabled. So if I click on that, you can see that Workspace ONE is successfully preventing users from accessing that system app. It doesn't just have to be system apps. It could be, uh, you know, other apps that are on there. So, you know, for example, uh, Facebook or, or TikTok or, or any app really. Um, but also, as I mentioned, it can be system apps. And the reason I showed that was that was a specific question from a customer. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for your time.